Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to take a look at the swipe keyboard for Android. Um, so let's start with the the basic. Let's turn it on. This is the uh, Samsung uh, Notes app. Okay. Well, first of all, if you want to enter text, instead of your um, usual poking or typing the um, keyboard on the keyboard, say uh, the sun is out. What you do instead is by swiping through the actual letters. So to enter the, you go T H E, the sun is out. So that's that's it's a lot. As you can see, it's a lot faster and it's very easy to use. Now the swipe keyboard has got three layers of um, letters. Um, first of all, it's the one that you can probably see the QWERTY keyboard, and then in the top right corner, you can see that the uh, in the top row there's some uh, these numbers one to zero, and then uh, some symbols as well. And to access though, uh, there are a few ways. Either you can hold, uh, press and hold the the key itself. So let's say if I want to have the left bracket, so I'll press and hold the G. I'll get the bracket or the close bracket, press and hold it H or if you want you can also type, uh, t uh, press that uh, one two three button and you can see the second layer of keyboard is shown okay the third layer you can access is uh, where usually your, your pound sign, dollar sign, and euro sign curly brackets etc okay which, if you want, you can ha directly access those by a long press on the actual key itself. So let's say I press G, long press, and you can see the square bracket is there. Which, if you press that third time, the square bracket is there. So that's your um, three layers of keyboards. Um, if you need to use the keypad, what you can do is um, swipe from this um, funny key, uh, I call it a function key, up to number 5 or the T. So that's how you do it. And you get the keypad light on a, an old style uh, uh, phone or when you want to dial out to, to speak to people. Um, sometimes it's easier if you were to type in lots of numbers uh, instead of using the top row on the standard keyboard you might want to use this instead. So uh, to go back on the normal keyboard you press ABC um, so let's take a look at um, correct, correct, correction. So let's um, type in something. So let's say uh, hello, uh, how are you? Um, that works, that's fine. So let's say um, you, that's not actually the word that you want to uh, enter. So what you want to do is that you press on the you, anywhere on you you would then be given a few suggestions as to what you may want to be entering instead so if I type toy it will over type that for me so same token in the same token if I tap on R sorry other words will be suggested to you as well so if I put C say C it's great uh, and the thing that you can do, um, so let's say you've, you've uh, typed in a, a name and uh, for some reason it's an unusual name and it didn't capitalize the first letter for you or if you want to say, uh, let's say OMG, you want to have it all capital so what you, what you do here is to, so you've a cursor, it's right next to that, that word what you can do is by, uh, to press the function key and then swipe up to the shift key which is what you normally use on a computer to capitalize the letter so if I do this now as you can see two more options uh, are given to you so you can either keep the, the C that you've got all in small letters uh, or cap or capitalize the S and small E's okay um, and the thing I like uh, that it's got the, 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 in fact I use quite a lot is the um, speech to text function so it's like a, a fire key here that you can press 
So let's try that. Hello, how are you? Let's type that for you. Now notice that there's no uh, punctuation uh, uh, on there at all. But in fact, if you speak the, with punctuations, uh, you know, say comma or question mark, it will actually do that for you as well. So let me just um, try that. Hello, comma, how are you? Question mark. So that here you are. That's uh, type team for you. Um, next thing is something that I use quite often is that um, you can see whether you can see that on the, the camera uh, next to the comma key I've got um, uh, a Chinese symbol there that's to allow me to enter using uh, Chinese handwriting as well um, so let's say I mean you can probably see that I actually say Chinese on there so if I just put that in that's there and then it also suggests an, a number of uh, uh, words that, or characters that are associated uh, to the, the, the characters I've, I've just put in uh, so if I pick on one of those it will come up and it will suggest more uh, or you can just carry on entering a new text now um, the great thing about this is that the fire key, the speech speech to text key actually works for a second language or in fact third or fourth language if, if you should you set uh, that into the keyboard as well so um, that uh, if I speak that in, in Chinese or in fact I won't I'll, I'll, I'll speak something that maybe most people know to say to say hello in Chinese um, let's see if it works Nei Hou Uh, that's done that for me that just say uh, how are you in, in Chinese I mean I can speak it fairly well but I, I can't write so um, that speech to text function is uh, perfect for me uh, so to go back uh, all you have to type is that um, uh, key there I'll press that key there that actually says English in Chinese okay um, if you have more than uh, two languages um, set up uh, instead of um, pressing that uh, key there what you want to do is to uh, long press the space bar and then it would list the option uh, or the languages you've got set uh, in in the app so you, you know if you have French or Spanish you know on there you'll be able to choose the language you want but if all you have is, is the two then you can literally switch by going back and forth those keys which is uh, really quick and, and useful okay let's delete it um, so, and an option and the thing that you can do, or you probably would like to do, is to um, set up your own preference, your personal preference. And to go into settings, you want to press and hold uh, this um, function key. And settings available for you. And in here, um, so let's take a look, let's take a look at the, the options. So we have the, the first one is the themes. Um, there are a set of sort of color schemes that you can choose from, whichever one you, you, you want or you like, you can use. I just I tend to just keep this the first one, the uh the hollow, which is the default um color scheme. And uh also you have uh, other things that you can choose which is uh, uh vibrate on key press or sound on key press. Um, the reason why it's grayed out at the moment, sound on key press, is because I've got the phone on mute, just so that I can take this video without any uh, disruption. Um, uh, other things that you could have is the, the pop-up on key press. Uh, I've got it switched off um, at the moment. All it is is that when you press the key, um, you will have a, a, like a speech bubble, uh, or in this case, a, a key bubble uh, shown. So you know you know what you've typed. Um, I've got a switch off at the moment, uh, but if you find it useful, you can have it turned on. And then the thing is to show uh, the complete trace, which I personally don't like because if you are uh, swiping a really long word, the trace tend to stay on the screen and um, uh, uh, sort of makes it difficult for you to see the rest of, uh, of the keyboard. Um, the rest of the options, I would, um, I think they're all sort of set to be on uh, by default which I think is very useful so auto correction uh, auto capitalization which means that each time each each time you set or you start a new sentence it will capitalize the first word for you auto spacing so you just keep on swiping 
uh, without having to, to press the space bar, etc, uh, etc. Et so uh, feel free to go through those to uh, set it, uh, personalize it. Let's go back to um, the uh, screen, uh, the uh, screen here. So another thing that I'd, I'd like to mention is that um, there are words that perhaps are uh, not in the default dictionary. Um, I mean, I, f I find that most of the words I use, in fact 99% of the words I use are already in the dictionary, the built-in dictionary. Uh, but let's say there's some names or some sort of uh, jargons or, or, or slang that are not really on there, you can actually put it into uh, um, your your own dictionary so next time when you come to use it the app will just uh, suggest uh, that for you knowing that that's sort of one of the words that you you frequently would like to use so for example if you if let's say um, ty let's say uh, that's the word I use all the time some people use that as uh, thank you so as you can see on the top on the far left you can choose that as the word that you want to use and the next thing is because it's not in the default dictionary it would let you add that into your own dictionary and next time if you type ty again it would not it would actually let you choose that again see capital T little y so it's very handy if you have uh, friends it's got unusual names etc etc you can just add it all in so not you know each time yeah, uh, pretty much uh, it will know to suggest that for you uh, straight away um, if you've never used a swipe keyboard before, or a swipe input before, it'll probably take you a good few days to get used to. Um, but I think once you've got used to it, you would definitely find it faster than your sort of thumb typing or you know by your normal sort of poking on the on the screen. Um, especially when you need to type really really long words. Um, so let's say I don't, I don't know, uh, say dictionary. So they it's not a really long word I know but um, uh, just an example so that uh, as you can see how long it took me to to type that but if you want to swipe it all you have to do is you don't have to be very um, uh, accurate in fact I, I think I, I swiped it wrong there but it still gave me um, the, uh, the correct suggestion there um, another thing that I find it useful is that um, if you were um, watching TV, you know, you have your phone next to you, or um, uh, studying or doing work, and you have your phone on your desk. Um, instead of having a uh, picking the phone up and type it using your your hand, your thumbs, or um, poking it, you know, your with your fingers, uh, you can actually leave the the phone uh, uh, next to you on whatever surface the phone is on, the sofa, and just swipe it. You know, have a quick reply and say. Uh, yeah, sure, um, sure. Sorry, let's start again. Let's hold it. It's difficult to type with the the camera in the way. Yes, yeah, sure. I'll be up in a minute. Okay, yeah. And then, currently watching TV or doing your work. Um, so. I'm just thinking what else I'd like to um, talk about. Ah, one thing um, you may find it useful is that if you have used uh, Word or Excel before um, on the computer, uh, you have your copy and paste function. Here you have that as well. So um, here you can use that function key as your control key. So if you want to select all, usually you press uh, you press and hold the, the control to control key and press A. Here, what you can do is by swiping, uh, pressing the function key and swipe it, and swipe it to, sorry, swipe it to A, and that will select all the words. Um, if you then want to copy it, you swipe it to C. That's the copy to clipboard. So if I want to delete it, and now it's on the key, uh, uh, clipboard, if you want to then paste it, which on a normal keyboard or computer is Control v so you swipe from the function key to V, and then you have it, and you paste it on there. So sometimes it's, it's useful if you want to uh, copy something like an, uh, something on the email, you can you know, text it to somebody, or, or uh, keep, you know, 
paste it into uh, some notes, you can do that very very quickly. Um, so that's it. Um, the swipe keyboard app at the moment is uh, uh, available on Play Store for 99 cents or 65 pence and um, I know that the swipe function or feature is uh, actually available on um, the Samsung phone or the Android phone even or some Android phones uh, by default um, which is which was what I used to use um, but I once I've, after I installed the this swipe keyboard um, I do find that the uh, uh, speed and accuracy uh, are a lot better the words that it suggests seem to be a lot better than uh, the, the default keyboard uh, gave me so I mean for, for, for 99 cents or 65 pence I think it's, it's well worth uh, buying um, okay, hope you enjoyed my video. Um, this is my take, Tom's take. Um, if you've been liked in my video, please um, click like. Um, otherwise, uh, I do plan on viewing, viewing more apps in the future. So feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, any comments or uh, questions, welcome. Until next time.